hello guys hello best friends and welcome back to the channel i'm sonia and i upload videos on healing positivity growth relationship lifestyle religion and everything she's so for those of you who are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section and for all my returning subscribers i love you guys always without much further ado let's jump right into this video in today's video is actually a topic i've been dying to talk about like i've been dying to talk about this topic for a hot minute and it's a very important topic especially to my girls out there i'm going to be telling you guys how you can level up financially and why it's very important to be financially independent in a relationship in a society in life in general you know we're in 2022 so no broke bitch energy like positive vibes growth rich bitch energy throughout you get what i'm trying to say right so guys the first reason why it's very important to be financially independent in a relationship or in society is respect there are no two things to it once you're financially independent or once people know that you're financially independent trust me you're respected you're valued sometimes people will even fear you because they're, they're looking at you like you can take care of yourself and it's because society always respects the rich. That's the truth. People always respect rich people. When people know that you have money, they will respect you. And that's facts. Especially for people who are, who are securing the bag right now. You notice before when you were broke, they are, they, it's not compared to the degree of respect that you have now when you're financially independent. Right? So... It's very important for you to be financially independent and also as a girl in a relationship it's very important for you to be financially independent because when you're financially independent trust me your boyfriend your husband your baby daddy or whosoever you're with is going to respect you you don't depend on anybody for anything you can do things by yourself you're not being controlled manipulated or subjected to a certain kind of condition because you cannot fend for yourself so when you're financially independent you're free you have power in your hands you get the point right even as a married woman it's very important because when your husband knows that he has a wife who can stand the gap for him in case of any unforeseen circumstance like death trust me the respect is different he's going to respect you more than a lady or a woman who just literally does nothing you get the point right so financial independence begets respect i know i stressed a lot on point number one so let's jump right into point number two point number two is power and control in a relationship in society there will always be power dynamics and the person who earns more has a certain degree of power and authority over the person that earns less and this goes to even in relationships so if you're dating a guy and he's the one providing everything for you definitely he has power and authority and even control over you when your partner has all financial decision making power you end up feeling like you have no say you don't have any say in any decision making that's just the truth especially when it comes to finances because you have nothing to offer but once you're financially independent you have a say your decision matters and your opinion counts say for example you're dating a guy and he's the one providing you with everything and there are certain things you want to get for yourself so you want to get a birkin bag you want to get your hair done you want to get your nails done and there are particular things you want to get for yourself that you like but you cannot spoil yourself you cannot even go on a vacation you cannot even go on a trip and treat yourself because you don't have the finances to sponsor that lifestyle you're solely depending on your boyfriend your husband or your baby daddy to provide you with everything so basically they have power and control over you because you're stocked you cannot do the things you want to do because you don't have the means to do them and that's because you lack financial independence so you leave it in the hands of your boyfriend or your husband he's the one now who determines if you're going to have those things and you're basically working on his budget you're working on another person's budget you're living your life on, a, on another person's budget your standard of living is based on another person's budget everything about you is based on another person's budget so definitely they have control they have authority they have power over you and you don't want to be that girl you want to be a boss you want to be the girl who secures the bag you want to be the hustler 
say you want to embark on a career journey or you want to start up a business and you cannot start up the business because you don't have the finances so you're solely depending on your boyfriend or your husband to finance this business to finance this career journey you're trying to embark on and if he does not have the money to give you definitely you will not start the business they are the ones who have the final say so that's what makes them have so much control and authority over you and that's detrimental to you and there are so many women in toxic relationships that are going through abuse because they don't have financial independence they are being manipulated they are being abused they are being controlled because they don't have any say and also because they don't have somebody who is going to finance the lifestyle they want to leave so they're going to stay with a toxic guy they're going to stay in the toxic relationship because they want to maintain the lifestyle which they've always been living they know that if they leave the toxic relationship they won't have any means of survival so that's why you see them accommodating disrespect lies manipulations cheating toxicity negativity domestic violence all the negative things that happen in toxic relationships just because they are not financially independent the third point is freedom with financial independence you're free, you have freedom of choice freedom in decision making your mind is calm and collected you're not being controlled to make certain choices or decisions based on your financial situation so when you're in a financially independent state you can easily make decisions that are right for you so unlike in a situation where you're not financially independent and you have to make certain decisions because of your financial situation say for example you want to travel out of the country but you cannot travel because you don't have the finances you want to go on a vacation but you cannot go because you don't have the finances you want to leave a toxic relationship but you cannot leave because you don't have the finances so you're not free that lack of financial independence has taken away your freedom to do anything that you really want to do once you have financial independence you have freedom of choice freedom in decision making freedom in life the fourth point is they see you as a liability and not an asset what is a liability anything that doesn't add to your life so if you're definitely financially dependent on someone trust me you're a liability to them most of the times because you're an extra burden you're an extra responsibility so definitely you're a liability there are certain things they want to do but they cannot be able to do them because you're an added responsibility so it's very bad you don't want to be a liability to the guy that you're dating you don't want to be a liability to your husband you want a man to see you as an asset you want to add value to his life so you get the point right the fifth point is they could use it against you and this is just the truth especially in relationships imagine a situation where you and your partner got into a fight and the cause of argument he just throws it to your face like oh he throws it to your face like i'm basically the one doing everything for you it's not because of me you're going to be nothing imagine your partner tells you that if in the peak of an argument and he goes on to use it against you he's going to use the fact that he pays for everything against you and most of the times when you guys have an argument he'll probably not do certain things that he had promised to do for you because of what reason he's pissed off he's angry at you so if he promised to give you money to do your hair if he promised to buy you a birkin bag if he promised to take you out for shopping if he promised to just give you some money or promise to do anything sweet and nice for you trust me everything stops because he's angry he's pissed off and he's going to use the fact that he has financial independence above you to control you to manipulate you to piss you off and to basically do what he wants because you have no say and another thing too is you always feel like you owe them you always feel like you owe them say for example if they did something that hurt you but they are the ones who bought the dress that you're putting on they are the ones who are feeding you. They are the ones housing you. They are the ones clothing you. You won't feel the need to say anything because you feel like you don't have any power in the relationship to really say anything. You get the point, right? So because of the because of the things that they do for you, you are forced to become a stooge. You're forced to be silent. That's basically it. You don't have any say. And the last but not the least point is actually going to be a question. I want you to picture the life you want for yourself. 
10 years from now, where do you want to be? What's the lifestyle you want to be living? That's the question you should be asking yourself now. And how are you going to get that life if you don't have any financial freedom? How are you going to get that life if you're financially dependent on somebody? So, baby girl, if you want to live the bougie lifestyle, the lifestyle of luxury, then now is the time for you to start securing the back. Go out there, start up a business, learn a trade, just do something. 90% of your life is in your hands. 90% of your success is in your hands. Nobody's going to give you the life that you want for yourself. You're the one to get up every day and fight for that life. So don't sit in your own corner and be waiting for a man to save you. There are so many of you girls, you abandon your goals, your dreams, your, your ambitions because... You're in a relationship, you focus all your mind on that relationship and forget about your own dreams and forget about your own future. What about you? You need to also make your own money. You're assisting a man to build his future and forgetting about yours. You're assisting a man to build his life. You're assisting a man to become financially rich. You're in his business. You're supporting his business. You're pushing him forward. You're encouraging him, but you're not making any productive moves. How do you expect to make money? This very same man, there's no guarantee that when the guy is going to make it, he's going to hold you down. That's the truth. There's no guarantee he's going to hold you down. That's another thing you need to know. So many of you girls, you guys have worked in vain for men and forgotten about yourselves. If you're holding it down for a guy, there's no guarantee he's going to hold it down for you. Trust me, most of the times, he'll probably leave you for a girl who has more money than you. <laughs> so you get the point. Women have so much potential. Women have so much ambitions. Women have so much dreams that they can go out there and achieve. So don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody make you feel like you cannot make it. Get up and fight for your life. Get up and hustle. Get up and secure the back. And now we've come to the end of the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I love you guys always. Bye.